What do you think? Sure tears up the landscape. Wow, super fast. Groovy colors. It appears that Dexter has secured a winner for that stock car 150. Keep watching. on the streets. Clearly very hot, as you say, but an unsafe vehicle. Right. Dexter's poured cubic bucks into the engine, but ignored every safety factor. <laughs> Never get me to jockey those wheels. Even his drivers have quit. Boy, I'll bet old chicken Dexter is desperate for a driver. What you doing? Observing reconnaissance films. Oh, say, when do I ever get to race for this club? Artist, you know girls can't drive for the hot wheels. And girls never took auto shop before, either. And that reminds me, use any more bobby pins on cars and you're going to flunk shop. Why not? A bobby pin works as good as a cotter pin anyway. Boy, you don't appreciate me as a mechanic, as a driver, or even as a girl. Well, I know somebody who does. Hot wheel! Hot wheel! Dexter, what is it you wanted to tell me? Artie, I'm in trouble. You are? Yes, my no-good drivers. I had to fire them all. Fire them? Incompetent brutes. Not one with enough spirit to handle my new wheels. Why tell me? Because your fine driving has attracted my attention. Because those stupid, insensitive hot wheels don't appreciate you. I said no bad-mouthing the wheels. Hey, wait. I just want you to drive for the demons against the Hot Wheels. I'm not that angry at them, Dexter. But they did turn you down, didn't they? Well, yes. All right, I'll drive on one condition. None of your tricks. What tricks? Of course, to get into the demons, you'll have to pose as a boy. Why not? Being a girl sure hasn't helped me. Tuned header should add a few more horses. Just a matter of solving some simple equations. Jack, Dexter's got himself a new driver. So I hear. Burning up the oval. Are you worried about losing the 150, Jack? Yes. 
and about Dexter's new driver. Feels funny. Nonsense. Fits you like a glove, my dear. I'm not your dear, and I'm only dressing like a boy so I can get to the race. Of course, of course. We'll make this brief to introduce our new driver, uh, uh, Artie. Hi, fellas. Where's he from? All in favor, say aye. What'd he drive before? The eyes have it. You practice some more, my dear. Uh, my boy, while we finish our business meeting. Okay, troublemakers, you just talked yourselves out of a free feed. Just giving you, Dixie. Well, we throw that female out of the club as soon as she waxes the hot wheels. After the race, we unmask Ardeth as a girl who beat the hot wheels. <laughs> and laugh Jack Wheeler right out of racing. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? A loose wheel bearing. That's what I'm talking about. Jack this baby up, boys. Boys. There isn't time. They're already lining up for the start. There's time. Yeah. Just like I thought. A broken cotter pin. So that's what made this wagon shake. Well, Jack, artist makes do. Last call to line up. Come on, Artie. Get moving. Here's the final entrance for Dexter's Demon. That's Dexter's new boy. Looks familiar. You never saw him before. Hmm. Drivers will follow the pace car for the first lap. If a driver is not in position coming up to the starting line, you will have to go around again. <laughs> Yep. And no matter what you say, you must 
sacrifice me a little, you sacrificed winning to save me. You, you did this, you girl. Yeah, girl. driver's license, young man. Oh, sure, officer, but what did I do wrong? You were exceeding the speed limit. I was? You were. You were doing 27 miles per hour in a 25 mile zone. <laughs> he acted like I was really standing on it. Like, I mean, after all, two miles an hour over the speed limit. And what he said, believe me, you wouldn't believe what he said. What'd he say? What'd he say? I'll tell you what I said. I said this place is a breeding ground for trouble, for law-breaking hot rodders, fast kids, fast cars. That's what I said. Just a minute, officer. O'Flaherty, Timothy O'Flaherty. I'm pleased to meet you. You're new to the police force here, I think. To the Metro City farce I am. But I've been a policeman better than 20 years, except for six months out mending a broken leg. I was chasing a hot rod kid over 100 miles an hour in one of these bombs. There was an accident. I rolled over and he got away scot-free. But he's the last one that's going to get away. I'm going to watch you kids like a hawk. You better behave or you'll be out of business because I don't like hot rodders. All I can say is, man, oh, man, wait till Sergeant Timothy O'Flaherty runs into Dexter's demon. Oh, boy. How long are we gonna keep this up, Dexter? Until we find him or he finds us. Now, the way I heard it, O'Flaherty really read out the Hot Wheels and he's after anybody with a set of mags or slicks. And you're looking for him? I don't get it. You will. And that's him over there. Now, you let me do the talking. I still don't get it. He's on us. And that's exactly where I want him to be. Sergeant O'Flaherty. Uh, good afternoon, officer. Good afternoon. I'm Dexter Carter, and I noticed that you were following me. Now, I certainly hope I wasn't doing anything wrong. No, no, I can't say you were. Who owns all these hot rods? Oh, uh, they belong to some friends of mine. We sort of use this place to work on our cars and conduct meetings on the merits of safe driving and the responsibility of being permitted to have a driver's license and general rules of courtesy on the streets and highways. Uh, that sort of thing, officer. Well, now, that sounds very interesting. Uh, yes, indeed. We believe in safety and courtesy at all times. Of course, there are some who... Oh, well, not all young people in this town believe as we do. I mean, well... I like that one club. They call themselves Hot Wheels. Uh, you know about them, of course. Indeed, I do. Uh, we've asked them to attend some of our meetings, but by the way, we're having a meeting right now if you'd like to sit in and see for yourself. Well, I think I'll just do that. I can only spare a few minutes, but let's see what you're up to. It'll be a few minutes well spent, I assure you. Now, to continue from last week, when you see other kids speeding or possibly breaking the law, stop them if you can and explain to them. And if you ever see anyone dragging or racing, except on a designated drag strip or raceway, take their number and report them to the police. <laughs> 
Now, is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Dexter. Gotcha. All right, all right. That's all for today. And I'll let you know when we have our next meeting. So long, fellas. And drive carefully. You're doing a fine thing here, young man. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you very much, Officer O'Flaherty. I'll tell you one thing. Those hot wheels that they call themselves could certainly learn something if you could ever get them to come here. As I told you, I tried, but... Well, I've got to be going. Keep up the good work. <laughs> you ought to be an actor. You still having that drag tonight? Why not? Eight o'clock. The old farm road south of town. Yeah, like we'll tear up the landscape. Hi, Mr. Warren. What brings you here? I heard something in school today I thought you should know about. What's that? I heard there's going to be a drag race tonight. Hmm. Dexter's demons, I'll bet. We ought to stop them before they get into trouble. Well, I think that's a fine thing to do. Who knows? Dexter might even appreciate it. Okay, here's what we do. Cover every possible place. Whoever finds them, try and stop them. If they refuse, then you have no choice but to call in the police. That's rather tough, isn't it? Well, it's better than somebody maybe getting killed. Mickey, you go with Artis and cover the north side. Okay. Kip, you and Tank split and cover the central section. Right. Janet and I will cover the area <clears throat> south of town. Now watch it, because we're trying to prevent trouble, not start it. You understand? Yeah. Okay, let's move. Where are we going? The county just regraded the old farm road south of town. Well, that'd be a groovy place for a drag, but a dirt road. It could also be a bad thing. That's what I was thinking. Someone's following us. Yes, I know. Man, that mag's just pouring it off. Yeah, he's really bombing it. That's right. I'll take you on next. Me against you? You chicken? Are oh, you kidding? Let's roll. Who would fight you? Nobody. But if you know what's good for you, you'll bust this up and split out of here before... All right, all of you, you stay right where you are. And especially you. It's the man! Stop! You do as I say. Don't move from this spot until I get back. All right, let's bomb out of here. Now! This is really a bad thing. You're telling me? What are you doing? Going after Sergeant O'Flaherty, trying to explain. Got into a hospital. He's hurt. Hurt bad. Use my belt. Make a tourniquet for his arm. He's bleeding. I think he's gonna make it. He'll be all right. Really nice yeah, I hope guy. he pulls out. Of it. Who was it that brought him in? I. That is, we did. You got him here just in time. He is conscious now, and he's going to be all right. Oh, thank goodness. Could could we talk to him? I'd like to, well, sort of explain what. I don't think that's necessary. He knows what he needs to know. What's that? That the Hot Wheels saved his life. That Dexter Carter and his bunch are getting their driver's licenses suspended. For this safe drive in school, you Hot Wheels run here. Well, it's commendable. I'd like to come by from time to time, if you don't mind, that is. You're welcome anytime, Sergeant. Well, thank you, Jack. I guess everybody makes a mistake in judgment now and then. I know I did. But I guess maybe that just proves cops are human after all. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you think? Sure tears up the landscape. Wow, super fast. Groovy colors. It appears that Dexter has secured a winner for that stock car 150. Keep watching. on the streets. Clearly very hot, as you say, but an unsafe vehicle. Right. Dexter's poured cubic bucks into the engine, but ignored every safety factor. <laughs> Never give me to jockey those wheels. Even his drivers have quit. Boy, I'll bet old chicken Dexter is desperate for a driver. What you doing? Observing reconnaissance films. Oh, say, when do I ever get to race for this club? Artist, you know girls can't drive for the hot wheels. And girls never took auto shop before, either. And that reminds me, use any more bobby pins on cars and you're going to flunk shop. Why not? A bobby pin works as good as a cotter pin anyway. Boy, you don't appreciate me as a mechanic, as a driver, or even as a girl. Because those stupid, insensitive Hot Wheels don't appreciate you. I said no bad-mouthing the wheels. Hey, wait. I just want you to drive for the demons against the Hot Wheels. I'm not that angry at them, Dexter. But they did turn you down, didn't they? Well, yes. All right, I'll drive on one condition. None of your tricks. What tricks? Of course, to get into the demons, you'll have to pose as a boy. Why not? Being a girl sure hasn't helped me. Jack Wheeler is going to be the littlest boy in racing. <laughs> <laughs> what a feeling! Like flying! Why did you hold her back? The car can do another 20 miles an hour. Once, well, I know somebody who does. Hot Wheels! Hot Wheels! Oh, no. 
Dexter. What is it you wanted to tell me? Artie, I'm in trouble. You are? Yes, my no-good drivers. I had to fire them all. Fire them? Incompetent brutes. Not one with enough spirit to handle my new wheels. Why tell me? Because your fine driving has attracted my attention. You get it fixed. Fixed? The fastest car in this part of the country fixed? It got kind of squirrely. Maybe you want to drive girls' rules. You tricked me into believing you could drive good as a guy. I'm better than a guy. Ha, <laughs> ba! All right, I'll push your old go machine to the limit. Fine. There, Kip, your work on that tuned header should add a few more horses. Just a matter of solving some simple equation. Jack, Dexter's got himself a new driver. So I hear. Burning up the oval. Are you worried about losing the 150, Jack? Yes, and about Dexter's new driver. Feels funny. Nonsense. Fits you like a glove, my dear. I'm not your dear, and I'm only dressing like a boy so I can get to the race. Of course, of course. We'll make this brief. To introduce our new driver, uh, uh, Artie. Hi, fellas. Where's he from? All in favor, say aye. Where'd he drive before? The eyes have it. You practice some more, my dear. Uh, my boy, while we finish our business meeting. Okay, troublemakers, you just talked yourselves out of a free feed. Just giving you, Dexie. Well, we throw that female out of the club as soon as she waxes the hot wheels. <laughs> After the race, we unmask Ardeth as a girl who beat the hot wheels. <laughs> and laugh Jack Wheeler right out of racing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>